are going to work on this fun rainbow balloon watercolor picture. So what you'll need is a couple pieces of watercolor paper, um, a jar of water, and a smaller brush, and a wider brush. Doesn't really matter what size you can pick. Um, a Sharpie marker and your watercolor set. So we'll get started here. This is a really cute little balloon picture that I thought would be fun and pretty easy for everyone to do. So we're gonna start with our Sharpie and Sharpies are waterproof, so they can handle watercolor later, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start drawing our balloons. I thought it would be fun to do some bunches of balloons like on the movie Up. I don't know if you've seen that, but it's a really cute movie and the house takes off with a bunch of balloons. So I thought it'd be really fun to work on doing some bunches. So we're going to start in the middle of the paper with your Sharpie. And we're just gonna draw some bubbly oval shaped balloons with um, a little bit of an edge where you would have blown up the balloon or had it blown up with helium. And so I'm gonna make just a bunch of balloons, a little bouquet. Let's see, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna I'll try to do seven for the main one, right in the center. And they can kind of be bunched together. So that'll make it six. Okay, and then we'll do one more right over here. All right. And then we're going to add the strings. So each one can get a nice little string. Okay. And so I have this bunch done. And then I'm gonna work on another bunch. I'm gonna make this one off to the side with a little bit less balloons. Let's do five balloons on this one. So making them um, slightly larger and bigger than one another. So they look like they're bunched up and squished together. Okay. So there's five for that one. And same thing again. I'm going to do the strings, kind of connect them together. Remember, we don't have to be perfect. I'm just going to do it as it comes out. Um, okay, I'm going to do one more bunch, and this time it's just going to be the tops of the balloons. These are going to be little upside down U's bunched together. And these balloons are going to be flying high in the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be good for that bunch. So they're all going to be flying high in the sky um, at different levels, so it's going to be up to you where you want to place them. If you want to place them um, different amounts in different areas of the sky, that is totally fine. This picture is for you and it's just for fun, so you can do it however you like. Okay, up here I'm going to put just one little lonely balloon. And that's it. I've got my balloons drawn. Make sure you guys can see that well enough, okay? So now, I'm gonna put my Sharpie down. We're going to start adding some color. So what I like to do is I like to add one color at a time. So 
Let's start with some darker colors. We'll start with blue and then we'll move on to purple. And then we'll slowly get lighter because sometimes it's harder to start with the lighter colors because they tend to bleed into the darker colors, okay? So let's try that. Let's grab our small brush, put some water on it, go over here and get some color. Mix that up nicely. And then I'm gonna start at the bottom of the page with picking one one uh, balloon in each bunch to be blue. Sometimes I like to start at the bottom because it helps me to remember that these blooms are wet still. I just worked on them, so I don't want to put my hand on them. So there we go. I'm going to pick one in each, each bunch to be blue. And of course, you do not have to start with the same colors that I'm starting with. You can start with different colors and paint your balloons however you want. This is just an idea. My lonely balloon, I'm going to make blue also. Just for fun. There we go. You can add, you can darken it just a tiny bit on one side if you want by adding a little bit more color. Okay, that's kind of fun. Makes it look a little bit more real. Okay. So now I'm going to move over to purple. Again, you choose your own colors. I'm working, I'm working from dark colors to light colors just because that's the easiest for me for mixing purposes. Okay. Pick one to be purple over here. Same over here. Pick another one to be purple. one over here to be purple. I'm going to kind of remember that some of my balloons are wet so I don't want to stick my hand in them. And it's okay if you make a mistake on your picture. You can always fix it. You can always turn it into something else or into a different color. Okay. All right. Next up is going to be red. A nice red balloon off to the side. What happens if we get too close to the color that we just painted? It bleeds together, so it starts to really mix, which is okay too. Add some red over here to this bunch of balloons. Okay. Darken that up in a little bit. Add a little bit more color and then when it dries we can darken it a little bit if we still want it darker. All right, next up is going to be orange. Put orange over here. All 
Right. Now I'm going to work on, let's see, let's do a pink color. And so, add some pink. If you are liking this video, I have some other watercolor for kids videos as well. I have some um, that talk all about blending. I have some that talk all about supplies. Lots of fun stuff to go over. All right, now, let's see. I think we should add some green. Green is my favorite color. So I'm always happy to put green in here. Green is my favorite color because it reminds me of all things growing, all things beautiful outside, leaves, flowers, trees, grass. I love all that stuff. Add some green over here. And now we are missing just one color. And can you guess it? I think that you can. This is my lightest that we're gonna do in here for our bunches of balloons. And that is going to be yellow. So each time I'm rinsing out my brush, um, and then I'm putting the new water right directly into my color so I can loosen up the color. Ooh, that yellow looks nice. Yellow gives it a great pop. All right. The yellow really brings it together. I love that. Okay. So I'm rinsing out that brush. I'm going to move on to a uh, thicker brush a wider brush with some water on it. Now, you can take a break here, or if you wanna finish up, you can take a break and let it dry, or you can just start kind of painting with some water around the balloons, and let's not, let's try not to touch the balloons, because if we touch the balloons, their color is gonna bleed into our sky. I'm just kind of going around with just water and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to start adding some blues. Um, a different color than your blue balloon. Let's choose something lighter maybe or something darker. Depends on how you want your sky. In fact, you can pick any color that you want. That's what's great about these kind of pictures is they're up to you. This is your art. Okay. So I'm gonna just drop in some lighter colored um, blue for the sky over that water. See how it blends together and gives it that nice texture. The awesome thing about Sharpies is that they're waterproof, so you can just go right over those lines where if you use a different marker, it really wouldn't be waterproof and that would just also just bleed and make um, black little puddles all over your paper, which is fun to experiment with. But if you're trying to make a picture, um, you don't want to use just a regular marker. You want to use a Sharpie. And here's a trick for cleaning up that edge. You can clean it up with some water. All right, and so we're just gonna keep working on that sky. We'll put some water, drop in some blue, let it bleed a little bit. That's fun. Try not to get too, too close to my balloons. Mine aren't quite dry, so if yours are dry, then you're fine to get closer to them. Okay. And I have a really, really fun video about blending watercolor that I made years ago, but it seems to be my most popular video. So 
If you want to do lots of fun blending like this sky, but with different colors, go ahead and check that one out. That's a good one. All right. So now this picture is coming together. You can even add a second color to the sky if you want. Let's see, what can we add? Let's add add a light pink just for fun just to see how they mix it's kind of nice these balloons are just flying away trying to escape all right Some more pink, kind of like a cotton candy sky. It's super fun. All right, guys. And there's our balloon project drawing and watercolor. I really hope you enjoyed that. I'm hoping to put out a couple new videos in this next month so that we have some fun things to do over summer. If you have a specific thing you want to learn how to paint, leave me a comment um, or have your parent email me and we'll try to get that video out for you. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye.